back off at YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Let's cook with me from start to finish. darling so first thing on the menu we're going to be working on our chicken i'm going to start by cleaning my chicken thighs removing any excess fat and loose skin and then i'm going to wash it with some lime juice and vinegar Once my chicken was nicely cleaned, I pat it dry and seasoned with some olive oil, salt, some thyme, oregano, some garlic powder, a little bit of dry jerk seasoning and I gave it a really good mix. Put in some garlic cloves as well and then I'm gonna let that marinate for about 10-15 minutes before pan frying it and pushing it into the oven. So after about 20 minutes I went in with some butter in a clean pot and a little bit of oil allow it to melt and then I'm gonna go ahead and place my chicken thighs in skin side down I am gonna let it cook for about three four minutes on both sides until it's nice and crispy and then I'm gonna transfer it to an oven dish Thank you. 
Once all of my chicken thighs have been transferred to the baking dish, I did preheat my oven to 200 degrees Celsius. I went in with the garlic from the pan as well as about 2 cups of chicken stock. I will add some rosemary as well for some extra flavor and just allow that to bake in the oven for about 30 minutes. Bear in mind the chicken isn't fully cooked so I just want it to soften up and cook fully, okay? Into the oven we go. I will cover it up with some foil as this will help for it to cook evenly and not dry out any further. Here I'm just working on some mashed potatoes. You guys have seen me make mashed potatoes before, but first I'm just gonna peel my potatoes and then cut it into small cubes, transfer it to a pot, give it a good rinse, add some sea salt, and just, you know, allow it to boil for about 10-12 minutes or until it's soft. While my potatoes are boiling, I did check on my chicken in the oven. Oh my goodness, guys, this is looking so amazing. So, so, so tasty. The smell, whew, so, so good. I will baste it with some of the juices at the bottom. And guys, this was so flavorful. Like we literally had to make it the following day because my boys couldn't believe how amazing this tasted. I will pop it back in for about 10 more minutes and then my mashed potatoes will be ready and will be ready to serve dinner. Once my potatoes were done, I went ahead and mashed it really well and then I also added in some butter and some double cream. I will use my hand mixer, although I will suggest transferring the potatoes to a bowl before mixing it. And yes, my loves, these were so smooth, so creamy. Wow. I'm also going to just steam some broccoli. I love to make my dinners with some sort of veg and it's just broccoli tonight. Very simple. I just cut the broccoli into florets and then I just give it a good wash to season my broccoli I will only go in with a little all-purpose seasoning however you can add salt and black pepper it's entirely up to you let it steam for no more than five six minutes and yes my darlings after five six minutes the broccoli will be done Now it's time to plate it up, oh my goodness, go in with some mash, followed by your broccoli, then your delicious chicken thighs, my goodness, this was so, so amazing, add lots of gravy if that's what you're into, but yes my loves, dinner was ready in 30 minutes and oh my goodness, so, so good. I really hope you enjoy this short cook with me, do come again next time and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Thank you for watching, bye bye!